we you call it here a winter melon pastry. We know it by its kind of Cantonese name, Lo Pao Bang. Right, though. Which means... Old, old, old lady. what, ladies cake. Old, old ladies? Yeah, Lo Pao. Who's the old lady in here? I mean, is she the one... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Soul Food, an American journey through the Chinese kitchen. I'm Gerald Tan, and right now, I'm tasting Lo Pao Bang winter melon pastries. It's good for the last crumb. I'm not wasting this. <laughs> The new Chinatown of Los Angeles, a slightly misleading name. It harkens back to 1938, when the neighbourhood was relocated a few blocks over to make way for the city's train terminal, Union Station. The year is an important one in this story because new Chinatown has had its share of ups and downs since, and Phoenix Bakery has stood witness to it all. My parents began this business in 1938, um, and so I'm the next generation. This is my baby brother, Ken, and this is my first cousin, Yulin. Okay. So it is a family business. What is it like to run a business with family? <laughs> oh, it's very challenging. <laughs> Do tell. <laughs> How's the division of labor? I'm curious. Management, kitchen. Yulin has uh, improved on some of maybe the procedures in making some of our products, but the ingredients are the same. Our recipes are basically the same. Is that correct? Well, most of them are from my parents or from Kathy's parents. And what I had to figure out is how to, you know, like uh, make the difference between making small and large, you know. And my dad, when he mixes, he mixes by sight. And when I mix, I mix by temperature and I mix by time. I think that, that speaks to how the, the, uh, the business has evolved in a way from one generation to the next. Uh, it's evolved in the kitchen. It's evolved in management. Doing business now is not just a handshake or a nod of the head like it was in my father's time. You know, it was a gentleman's agreement. Uh, or my uncle's, oh, well, this looks right. You know, I'll throw this in. Over the decades, Phoenix Bakery has become synonymous with an array of handmade treats. Strawberry cake, syrup-drenched butterflies, almond cookies, seasonal mooncakes, and a confection from my childhood, lo po peng, winter melon compote and robed in flaky pastry. Think of it as a distant cousin of the almond croissant, but in lieu of butter. We kind of rolled it by hand, each individual pieces, with basically uh, the flour and the lard and the water. Oh! <laughs> you said the magic word. Okay. Did we all hear it? <laughs> lard. Okay. <laughs> Everything tastes better with lard. Well, yes, it, it does, but uh, it, it's also a bad word, too. <laughs> Well, basically, the winter melon pastry is this this item here, and this is the Chinese winter melon, and this is what makes the layers on the the cake is actually two types of dough that they're putting together. One dough has just lard and flour; the other adds water. You know how water and oil repel each other. Voila. The basic signs and wonder of Chinese puff pastry. What she did was she folded the, the lard and the flour uh -huh. into the, the water dough and formed that ball. And then she rolls it out. Okay, then she puts the winter melon in there and she folds it together. It's almost like a big fat dumpling yes, at that point. Yes, that's all right? it is. And then she flips it over to give that nice flat appearance. Ah. The speed of her fingers at mm. that point, yeah. that's just remarkable. And there's something you cannot get. Is you can't make it with a machine. <clears throat> no, because of the 
it'll, it'll destroy the layers. She's gonna dock it to let the steam out so they don't explode right, right. when you bake. And then she's gonna ID it with an old Phoenix stamp. What do you think, Ken, is the secret of success for this bakery? I think two, um, our longevity of our staff. One of our kitchen staff workers probably been here 50 years. Wow. He actually retired. And, uh, you know, he called Yulin up and he says, hey, I'm bored <laughs> at home and I want to come back a couple days a week. Los Angeles is the city of trends. You know, a lot of food trends as well. We've gone through, you know, paleo, keto, carb-free, <laughs> fat-free, <laughs> gluten-free. Gluten uh, We've had people ask, are you gluten-free? We are not. Our bakery is, is a facility for a place where you want to reward yourself. We have generations of very loyal customers uh, that have come in and we're into four generations. Every day we hear, my, my grandmother brought me here, my mother brought me here, now I'm bringing my children here and we're very grateful for that kind of support. I think one of the things that my mom always said uh, is that you know good times or bad times people always eat. Okay, and then they always want something sweet because the sweetness will basically uh, win over anything that's sour. Mm -hmm.